welcome. Take it up with Jessica Lee. I'm here with Jyoti Swarup, who is the Global Marketing VP at Veritas. Welcome. Thanks, Jessica. I'm happy to be here. Yes, well, we'd like to have you here because, uh, you know, Veritas has gone through a lot of changes. It's a 30-year-old company, but it's gone through some major changes from being with Symantec to now not with Symantec and being a private equity-owned company and all that, with a lot of recent executive changes, the new CEO and everything. So I wanted to ask you, what is going on? Well, Jessica, when you have a really good asset like Veritas has, you know, a lot of good, great products that are deployed in the Fortune 500 space, mm -hmm. they tend to be valuable in different areas. So mm -hmm. Veritas, yes, you're right, over the last 30 years has gone through, you know, being an independent company that IPO'd, went public, got acquired by Symantec, and about three, three and a half years ago, split up from Symantec mm -hmm. and became an independent company that's owned by a PE firm, mm -hmm. Carlyle. Yeah. Um, and we continue to operate in the in the B2B large enterprise space. So with the recent executive changes, uh, is there a new direction the company's taking, a new focus? Yes, absolutely. So we, our new CEO, Greg Hughes, uh, came on board, I think about a year and a half ago now. And uh, he's brought about a lot of, uh, you know, compelling changes, a lot of focus mm -hmm. to the company uh, in terms of how we execute our strategy. Okay. Because, you know, it's not easy running a, a company that's 30 year old and that's it, gone through all of these changes. It's like $3 billion. Yeah, so it's revenue. between 2 to $3 billion mm -hmm. in revenue. Okay. So it's not a small company right, right. by any means. And we have 98% of the Fortune 100 as customers. 86% of the Fortune that's, 500. That's big. Yeah, that's yeah. huge. So these customers are demanding. Yes. And we have uh, products that and solutions that are deployed at scale, mm -hmm. huge, massive global scale. Mm -hmm. So what Greg's brought in is a lot of focus in terms of how we execute and which products we focus on, mm -hmm. which solutions we invest in, as well as even M&A, right? Mergers and acquisition. We just had an acquisition in Aptar, a company yes. we just bought. So yeah, it's, it's, it's been great over the last year and a half. So the focus is on data protection. Mm -hmm. And now I'm also hearing software defined storage. Yeah, so you're right. So we just announced uh, a platform. Okay. It's called the Enterprise Data Services Platform. Mm -hmm. So historically, Veritas has been known as a data protection company. Okay. Net Backup is a product. We've done really well with that. We're mm -hmm. the market share leaders. Mm -hmm. We have a product called InfoScale in the software defined space. You're right. We're market share leaders there as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're continuing to invest in what we call the insights portfolio now, okay. which is, hey, we're Veritas. We're sitting on all these exabytes of data. Can we give our customers some insights on their IT mm -hmm. and on their data? Mm -hmm. So that's the third pillar of focus. So under the data services platform, we have availability, 24 bar seven availability for the customer. If something goes down, it comes right back up. Mm. Um, protection at scale, protect all your data. Right. If there's a ransomware attack, bring the data back immediately, you have a backup. And lastly, get value from that data, okay. like all of the insights. Yeah, so the, the the insights is something people talk about. You know, data is uh, so valuable and all that. Yet I was surprised that one of the research um, your company did shows over 50% of the global companies have uh, data that is really unknown to them. Like dark data, you say? Yeah, yeah. So it, it's true. It's it's crazy. It's 50% 50, 50 of the data that large enterprises have mm -hmm. is dark. What that means is a lot of it is what uh, what is defined as ROT, R-O-T which is redundant, obsolete, or trivial. Mm. So like employees browsing information. Oh, okay. You know, employees buying diapers on Amazon. <laughs> and and companies are storing this information in expensive cloud infrastructures okay. and, you know, storage arrays. Mm -hmm. They don't really need to know that. And on the other flip side, there's also companies storing sensitive information mm. at, and it's dark. Okay. They don't know that they're storing yours and my personal information. So how do you help? How do you help them address so, that? Yeah, so our insights portfolio, our products like InfoStudio and Data Insight, they go and crawl the data that you have mm. wherever it is, mm. in the cloud, even on tape or in storage arrays, and it'll inform the, the CIO, for example, mm. that, hey, you have about two petabytes of personally identifiable information that you should not be storing there. Okay. It's easily hackable. It's easily transferable. It shouldn't be there. Or mm. there is an XYZ person that has access to that data. Mm. This person shouldn't have access to that I data, see. right? So that that kind of stuff CIOs need to know. Or worst case, like GDPR, right. it mandates that if a citizen, if you or I were European citizens, uh, we say company X, delete my data. 
they're supposed to delete everything. Right, I heard. Yeah. Yes. And if they if they don't know where it is, if fifty percent of my data is dark, yes. how will they delete anything? Mm, they're going to be sued for millions. Good point. Okay. Now you you are in charge of the whole uh, product marketing side, and a lot more. Yes. Globally. Mm -hmm. um, what I have seen is that with all of these technology changes, you know, there's a lot of things happening. The engineering side is doing continuous DevOps to bring out new products per customer demand. Product marketing has to keep up with that. And I right. often hear that it's a challenge. How do you do it at Veritas? You know what, that's a fantastic analogy, uh, the DevOps to marketing. Because uh, we have to be as agile as the product teams mm -hmm. when they come out with new features, new releases, right? Before it used to be one release per year. I still remember working at you know large companies in the Valley, one big release per year. Now it's like a, a release per month or you know, a release per quarter yeah, and yeah. we need to keep up. So in marketing, we've adopted the agile methodology. So, mm -hmm. you know, within engineering, they have agile scrum teams, mm -hmm. five, six people that work on a single module, okay. which is then merged into the parent module, the main module. Okay. So we are like, why can't we adopt that in marketing? Mm -hmm. So we have agile scrum mm -hmm. teams. So whether it's branding, product marketing, PR, AR, so they're all representatives in a scrum team where they quickly, they have daily stand-up meetings. Mm -hmm. In 15 minutes, they report out saying, here's mm -hmm. my progress, I see. right? And, and there's a program scrum master mm -hmm. that puts it all together and says, here's your action, here's your action, go away and go do it. So it, it avoids uh, multiple one-on-one -on -one meetings okay. and disconnects. Okay. Everybody's on the same page and they're moving towards the same big goal. I see, so work and do daily reporting, daily communication. Daily stand-ups, yes. Okay. So let's take VMworld that's mm -hmm. coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, you are going to be there. Uh, and there's a lot of work around that event as a partner. You're exhibiting, I mm -hmm. take it. Yes, we're diamond sponsors. Okay. We're at the biggest sponsorship level. Yes. Excellent. So take that as an example. How are you actually planning that and executing that with this agile model in mind? Uh, that's. That's actually a great question. I would need an hour to, <laughs> to describe VM world to our audience here. But it is one of the biggest events in the industry mm -hmm. and for Veritas as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. uh, I used to work across the pond at Dell EMC, which owns uh, VMware. Mm -hmm. So I've, I'm, I've kind of seen both sides of the coin being mm -hmm. in-house as well as outside the right. house as a, as a vendor. So uh, there are a lot of moving parts, mm -hmm. right? It, it all starts with messaging, I feel. To, uh, to have a successful event, you need to get your core messaging right. Mm -hmm. So we, we start off the scrum models by making sure that product marketing comes in with a point of view, right? And if the core messaging is agreed upon across all constituents, then everything starts from there. Brand picks up on it, advertisement campaigns picks up on it, social media picks up on that. Everybody kind of starts building their own you know, work streams. Mm -hmm. from that core messaging. Okay. So in order for you to get core messaging right, you need to have, you know, technology that works with VMware, our customers giving us feedback on that, customers now are involved as well. So, you know, we take this big hairy project called VMworld and then we break it up into small chunks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, a messaging tongue chunk, a customer reference chunk, a PR chunk, you know, we just break it all. Product up. demos. Product demos. Oh, yes. Yeah. So we, we, and then we bring it all together in these scrum meetings mm -hmm. quickly, 15 minutes. Hey, you get a minute. What's going on? Like, what is the roadblock you're facing right now? And what progress have you made? Just two mm -hmm. things you have mm -hmm. to report on, nothing else. <laughs> nothing else. If, if Can this team help you? Like, you have a roadblock. Right. Can this team help you? Right. If yes, hey, can you help him? Done. Over. Move on. Next. Right. So it, 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 brings that agility into uh, the way we move forward. Mm -hmm. And these Scrum Masters report up to me and, and the CEO and others on critical juncture points. Okay. Yeah. All right, so that sounds good. So things are going smoothly. Oh, it's going fantastic. With that model. Yeah. Uh, what challenges do you have though? Well, challenges, all, there's always a resource yes. challenge. <laughs> there, there's never you know, enough people, hands on deck, mm -hmm. to get things done. There, you know, In marketing, we're a cost center. Yes. So there's never enough budgets mm -hmm. to get things done mm -hmm. as well because people always come up with crazy ideas. We're marketeers. We think creatively, and, and creative uh, blowouts sometimes need money. Well, maybe that is a challenge, which might be a very common challenge, is how do you tie the spend back to a return on investment in terms of like opportunities and closed deals? Yeah, that's actually a very good point. I mean, the bigger theme actually is being data-driven. Mm 
mm-hmm. right? So if if you have systems in place that can track something end to end, every dollar spent, yes. what's the ROI on yes. that? If you have the tech stack and the process set up for that, mm-hmm. that's that would be huge mm. for any marketing organization. Yes. Uh, there are tons of creative people, not not all of them are very good, but there's creativity out there in the world. Mm-hmm. We can hire that. Mm-hmm. But if you don't back it up with intelligence, it, the magic will not happen. Right. right, right. Like having that, the art and science of marketing working well together. Exactly. And there's a lot of data. So you're right. Having the data to then make decisions that will give you that uh, higher performance. Yep, and and making them fast, mm-hmm. right? So uh, I feel like data driven is almost stable stakes today. Everybody has some sort of tech marketing stack mm-hmm. and automation and things like that. That's stable stakes. But how fast can you act on a data point? How much can you trust that data point? Right, right. That what that's something that makes a marketeer more successful than others. Yes. Um, I think that one way that I've, so I've seen where content can be tracked and monitored so that as your prospects are learning about the platform, Mm -hmm. all of that is being tracked to understand where they really like the content and the consuming and it's effective and where they're dropping off. By having the analytics behind the product marketing content can be very helpful to track all the way to, did they sign up for a proof of concept or trial? Maybe did they actually become a customer in the end? Right, no, that's that's actually a great point. In fact, um, I say content is king, continues mm-hmm. to be mm-hmm. the king, but what's become more important is personalization. Like if you don't personalize a piece of content mm-hmm. to a particular specific audience, and if it's not relevant, they will drop that content in three seconds. Like literally, because you know, if you remember, Twitter came out the first time, we were all like, what can I put in 140 characters? Like, mm-hmm. This was the ma- you know major reaction from everybody. 140 characters, right. what can you say in that? Right. Now, three words in, I scroll. Like, I know this is not the tweet I want to read. Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. you know, attention spans are getting so, so small yes. <laughs> that your content piece has to be super customized. Yes, um, and then I think that's why, um, you know, we work with VMware a lot and mm-hmm. the content that we help them to put out there is really bite-sized content. And because we have analytics behind all the content that we uh, we help them, we know what's really effective. And we are seeing a huge return on investment in terms of having bite-sized content and tracking that to see the full journey. They come in, they get the information they need, they move all the way to signing up. Right. And that's been effective. Yep. Yep, exactly. I mean, that's uh, that's nirvana. Essentially, if we get that process right, uh, like I said earlier on, you know, we don't need sales at that point. Everything is everything's <laughs> oh, no. automated, right? Everything's automated. Everything's end to end done. Marketing is doing the whole thing. Well, I mean, that's a that's a yeah, that's debatable because with enterprise sales, that relationship is so crucial. Yeah, I was I was only half joking. Of course, you know, it's, uh, everything's built on relationships. But I think the idea of marketing or the goal of marketing is to reduce the sales cycle as much as possible. Yes. So sales is only involved in the last mile, right? We, we we need to ensure in marketing that we sales spends as little time on a deal as possible. Mm-hmm. We do most of the legwork and the customer is completely ready to just have that discounting conversation or a pricing mm-hmm. conversation or deal structure conversation as opposed to, hey, what is this product? What does it do? Right, right. right. The more basic information can be Self-learn uh, yep. available. Yeah. Okay. So Vim War is coming up, and you're going to be a, a diamond sponsor. Mm-hmm. So that's very exciting. And uh, is there any announcement, anything you want to share now as we're approaching the event? Well, I can't give away too much, uh-huh. but uh, all I can tell you is we've got some phenomenal uh, product integrations with VMware, mm-hmm. uh, whether it's on data protection or hybrid cloud, mm-hmm. hybrid IT. And all the partners we have uh, with VMware's uh, ecosystem, uh, how we support them. So there's just a lot of exciting things that are coming out um, at VMware from Better Thoughts. All right. So drop by and take a look at the product demos. Mm-hmm. Yes, of course, product <laughs> demos. We've got some phenomenal demos. Uh, three clicks to Nirvana, as I call it. All right. Three clicks to Nirvana. There you go. Well, thank you so much for being on the show, Jyoti. Oh, thanks for having me. It's been great. There you have it. Take it up with Jessica Lee Jyoti from Veritas.